Okay, so what you're looking at is the math problem that I posted today on Instagram. And good job to those of you that got the right answer. You did a really good job with that. But I wanted to do a video, one by request, and two, because I really did see the struggle and the kind of cries for help that were happening to figure this out. So don't be swayed by these type of math questions because believe it or not, this is actually a regular desired over have times amount math equation. The only issue is that you see that this is a pretty wordy question and there's a lot of information in it. So it's really your job to decide what information you need to extract from this question to get to your answer. But it is the same dose over half or desired over half, I'll write it here, desired over half times amount. Um, most of the nursing calculation problems, dosages and calculations are that same desired over half times amount. Um, some are gonna be a little bit different, but the majority of things that you're gonna learn, they're gonna be desired over half times amount. So let's look at this actual question to decide what it is we're looking at. So we know that we're given an order, right, for nitroprusside. The order is five mics per kilo per minute. And it's gonna be via continuous infusion. We know that the patient weighs 205 pounds. And we know that what we have on hand is a solution of 200 milligrams in 250 mLs of D5W. So this is the information that we are going to extract from the question in order to solve it, okay? So I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna write out what our important info is that we need to have to solve this problem. So here's our D, right? The desired or the dose. Um, and we know that our patient weighs 205 pounds. So I'm gonna write that because that's important because this math problem is asking me to calculate it based on weight. And I know that what I have on hand is 200 milligrams in 250 mLs. So here is my half. This is what I have. This is what I'm ordered. So that's the desire or the dose. And this is my weight. So this is my bonus information. Well, what we're looking at here is this, let's start with this. So our actual desired, right? Five mics per kilo per minute. What this means is that for every kilogram the patient weighs, I need to give five mics every minute. So because this is in kilos, we need to convert the patient's weight. We need to make the pounds kilos. So how do we do that? To convert, we're gonna do 205 divided by 2.2, .2, and that's gonna give us the weight in kilograms. So 205 divided by 2.2 .2 is gonna give you 93.18. We can round that to 93.2. And here's our weight in kilograms. So here's the information that we need. Now, if you were going from kilograms to pounds, instead of dividing by 2.2, .2, you would multiply by 2.2. So now I have the kilograms, I'm in good shape, okay? So I can start to work on this problem now. So we're gonna come down here. So I know that I'm gonna get five mics for every kilo the patient weighs. We know the patient weighs 93.2 kilos. So I'm gonna multiply five by 93.2 and I'm going to get 400 and 66 micrograms, okay? But that's not the end of my equation, right? So I got my mics, I did the kilos. Now for minutes, right? I know that I need to get 466 micrograms every minute. Well, we know that our final result, our final answer is gonna be given in mLs per hour, right? So how many minutes are in an hour? So at this point, I need to do 466 times 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour and I'm gonna give my answer in mLs per hour, right? So 466 times 60 is going to give us 27,960 micrograms per hour, okay? So here is my final 
desired or dose 27,960 kilogram or micrograms per hour, excuse me. So this is our D, right? But we still need to figure out the rest of it. So at this point, we have our top number. We still need to get our half, and we know that our amount is 250 mLs. That's the amount that our medication comes in. So we have our D, we're good on that. Now we need to get our half. Now, what traditionally we would do is do 27,960 micrograms over what we have. We have 200 milligrams times our amount, which is 250 mLs. But we have a problem here micrograms and milligrams, they're not the same unit of measurement. So we have to convert. We need to either change the mics to milligrams or we need to change the milligrams to mics. And this is completely up to you, whatever is easier for you, whatever you prefer to do. I just simply prefer to do micrograms to milligrams. It's just visually easier for me to do. So I'm gonna come down here and show you how I convert that. So I know that 27,960 micrograms, I need to go to milligrams. So how do I figure that out? Well, I like to do the decimal imagination deal. I don't know if you do the same thing. So I know that my decimal point is right here, right? It's at the end. When I'm going from a small unit to a bigger unit, I move to the left, right? three spots, one, two, three. And where I land is where my decimal is going to go. So this now is going to become 27.96 milligrams. Now that I have both units matching, I can do the math. Now if you decided to change the milligrams, this, to micrograms, you would do a similar motion. So 200 milligrams, you wanna figure out what it is in micrograms, right? Instead of moving, let me put my decimal spot here so we can see. Instead of moving to the left, you're gonna to move to the right because you are going from a bigger unit to a smaller. When we go from big to small, you go right. When we go from small to big, you go left. Um, and the reason I, I just remember that, just kind of one of my little wacky ways of remembering things, is I remember that going from bigger to smaller is right, because I always think about summertime, trying to lose that summer weight and get down to the right side. So go to the right, right? Big to small is right. So. Instead of moving three spots to the left, I'm gonna go three spots to the right. So let me bring, um, let me just bring this 200 down so we have space to work with. And so here's my decimal, three spots to the right. Ready? One, two, three. And where, my, where I land, that's where my new decimal goes. And then I'm going to fill in these spots with zeros. So this is going to become 200,000 micrograms, okay? So I'm gonna stick with the milligram conversion. So now let's make a new color. My formula is going to be 27.96 milligrams over 200 milligrams times my volume, or my amount, which is 200 mLs. So this is just our simple math. So we're gonna do 27.96 divided by 200, and then we're gonna multiply that right into 250, and we're gonna get 34.95, which you can round to 30, five mls per hour. 
And that is how you solve this equation. Again, it's the same thing as doing a regular dose over half times amount or desired over half times amount, whichever way you remember it. The only difference is, is that we have to do a little bit of conversion. And you're going to definitely run into scenarios like this in school, on tests, in the NCLEX, and in practice, you're going to have to know to do conversion. So the actual um, extras that we needed to know was to how to, one, convert pounds to kilograms and two, converting our micrograms or our milligrams to match each other. Otherwise, it's a pretty straightforward type of calculation. So if you have any questions on this, you know how to, to get to me, to reach me. You can get me on Instagram. Um, if you want me to do some more videos on math, if you need a little bit more clarification on dosages and calculations, I'm certainly happy to do that. Just let me know. So if you reach me on Instagram, it's toot, R-N, T-O-O-T-R-N, um, or you can reach me via direct email, and you can get that information from my website, which is www.tootrn.com. So I hope this helped. Again, those of you that got the answer, kudos, good job. You were able to, you know, weed through all this extra word in the question and find what you needed. For those of you that need extra practice, definitely rewatch this video as much as you need to. And if you want to do some more um, practice math questions, you let me know and I'll post as many as you need. All right. Have a good day.